Understanding the Pardon Board Review Process Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language and its myriad expressions. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase that often pops up in legal and governmental contexts, Pardon Board Review. Join us as we break down what this means and why it's important. Whether you're learning English or simply curious about legal terms, this video is for you. First off, let's dissect the phrase itself. A pardon is a governmental act that forgives a person for a crime and eliminates its legal consequences. It's like wiping the slate clean. A board in this context refers to a group of people with the authority to make decisions or give advice. So, when we talk about a pardon board, we're referring to a specific group of individuals who have the power to review and recommend pardons for certain crimes. The review part of the phrase indicates a process of examination or assessment. Therefore, a pardon board review involves a detailed examination of cases by this board to decide whether a pardon should be granted. Now that we know what each term means, let's look at how the process typically unfolds. The pardon board review process can vary from one jurisdiction to another, but it generally follows a similar pattern. 1. Application Submission An individual seeking a pardon must submit an application to the pardon board. 2. Initial Screening The board screens applications to ensure they meet certain criteria. 3. Detailed Review Eligible applications undergo a detailed review, where the board examines the facts of the case, the applicant's behavior since the conviction, and any evidence of rehabilitation. 4. Hearing. In many cases, the board will hold a hearing where the applicant and possibly victims or other interested parties can speak. 5. Decision. After reviewing the case and hearing, the board decides whether to recommend a pardon to the appropriate authority often the governor or president. 6. Final action. The ultimate decision to grant a pardon rests with the governmental executive, who may or may not follow the board's recommendation. Pardon board reviews play a crucial role in the justice system. They provide a mechanism for mercy and correction, allowing individuals who have demonstrated genuine change and rehabilitation to be relieved of the burden of their past crimes. This process acknowledges that people can grow and change, offering a second chance to those who have shown they are no longer the same person who committed the offense. Furthermore, pardon board reviews serve as a safety valve within the legal system, offering a form of justice that traditional court proceedings might not always provide. They recognize the complexity of human behavior and the capacity for redemption. We hope this video has shed light on the pardon board review process and its significance within the legal and societal framework. It's a fascinating example of how language, law, and life intersect, reflecting the values of forgiveness, change, and second chances. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this explanation helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insights into the English language. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.